week. Yeah, this is a slightly different view because currently my, my desk is kind of cluttered and I tend to go up to get it really. I guess that was just a bit rough. I'm just sitting on bed. Move the tripod over here so hopefully you can see. Yeah, hopefully you can see this. If it's in the screen. Oh. So, no, when I look at it, it's the other way around. So I need to turn the camera around, I guess. Hopefully, it'll be better. Okay. I turned the camera around. And um, now I can't see what is actually being recorded. So hopefully I'm getting this all in shot. So first up, here is... Oh, let me just... Yeah, I'm glad I missed that here. Um, <coughs> this is crate number 39. And the thing should be magical travel. Oh, and um, on a different note, um, I, when I was contacting him thinking I was missing a crate, I actually wasn't miss, missing a crate. So it's in a backlog of 2022 crates that I was missing. So I have all of those now. That's good. And with this, I, this is the uh, March 23. I am not missing anything, which is good. Um, so they sent me a list after I sent them all the pictures and I renamed some of the uh, videos to their correct crate number and uh, I haven't actually gotten around to changing the thumbnail. I don't know if I can bother to do it really, but um, probably won't. So if you see the different numbers, um, yeah, that's why. Um, Oh yes, when I just looked at this when I brought it in from the front hall. Total disappointment. There is no sticker. Like, unless you put it on the inside of the box. That'd be nice, but um, there's no sticker. Where's my Harry Potter themed sticker? Hopefully it's on the inside. I, don't know. I, I do like this. Oh, this is... Kind of a repeat box part on the inside. I saw this thing exists. You can see, I can't see where it's actually showing. I um, it's not showing properly, I think. Anyway, so yeah, can you this off? Sorry. I mean. shirt in the bag so I change and it really is and we've got this thing I'll do the shirt first and we'll do the other thing there's the shirt thing let's have a see if this Short sleeve, nothing on the back. Don't know if this is in frame or not. Hopefully it is. But large, and it says Alley Post. You know, really a uh, kind of wax seal end thing. But it's, it's not to make it properly. So I'm not asking you to But anyway. Well, this is nice, very simplistic. Hmm, it's nice. <laughs> Love it, Love it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So now I'll pull shirt. What choose next? Oh, that's okay, so I can reuse this. Why is this sticky stuck on the bottom of the whatever? 
could be doing the stickies for the stick onto the back, but not the other bits of it. Oh well. I mean, if I am even talking about it, I don't know. Then I see. Okay, so this thing, whatever this is, is it like a tea towel type of thing? Very nice, very nice. Please. And if that's any shot at all, hopefully it is. Um, very nice. A fruity one tail packet and palm are proud to present a marauder's name. I'm not going to say that one down the line. So, it's a very nice. I don't know what we would call it a tea towel. You wouldn't really want to mess with that, would you? I mean, I could use it, actually, as a, you know. I can put towels or doilies on on the surface to decorate or to keep the dust. I could, that would probably, put it under my TV and PS5 and PS6 to get out on my dresser, but I'm currently I have a Pokemon one down there. Or actually, I could put it on my bedside table. That's the point. And I do that actually. And it looks nice. We go with the, the brown, the uh, what's it, birch or something? Um, what's it called? Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, that's that. Let's go back to the other Let's see. I'm gonna start this. Okay. It is my of travel theme, so at Hogwarts Express, we got Ollivanders, the Cauldron, Flesh and Blots, Zonkers, All Post, this Diamond Eyes. So they all seem to have the same box. Okay, so that's Diamond Eyes. We got an All Post one. A snowy eye. Greetings from Hogwarts. I'm back to Hogwarts Express. I didn't actually say it. But, uh, yes, that's very nice. Just put this back in here. Um, put it with, I don't know, my prints or something. I'm not gonna actually use them. I'm not used for taking pictures, but I'm not going to use you saying that. Um... So let's see. And let's see. Oh, and there's a thing that I'm thinking. Okay. So this is one of the reasons why I got, I decided to order this. It's a wax seal. And it is... Slytherin Ribbon and Burning Berries. Okay. And so this looks like so that. How did I miss the trash? Okay. So let's see what it looks like. Is it supposed to be? I guess it's supposed to be speculous. Anyway, that's pretty kind of design, as I guess they have the most most of them. Oh no, I can shove it in this way. Okay, and to look at the wax. Oh, so the handle has 
Am I showing properly? Handle has this. Is it gonna focus? There you go. And then. Is that focused? I can't tell. It's lovely. Simplistic. Cute. Of course. But for some reason, I was expecting something more. something. Slightly. Mm. And I have seen more detailed ones. Okay, so here is this pin, and it is, ta-da, platform nine and three quarters, Hogwarts Express. So, you know, when I think of platform nine and three quarters, I think of like, you know, the wall or something, and, you know, the wall with the trolley and stuff, not really the actual train. So it would be more of a Hogwarts Express thing instead. But it's very nice. It's raised metal, I guess you could say. I don't think it's enamel, it's just metal, maybe. I think that's raised metal. But anyway. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's that. And we got one last thing. What's this? Definitely would. I'm not sure what tree that's supposed to smell like, to be honest. But it smells kind of cool. It's, um. I'm guessing it's like. You know, because of an owl post and stuff on it. It's like for. stationery, you know, like your letters. Like you could put it this way, but I think it's supposed to be this way. And like, you know, the copyright stuff on that side. Then you got the owl post thing on that side. But, um, I guess, you know, I really wanted to put the cheat sheets in there because, like, currently, why are you always putting them in there? Because then you'd actually know what is what. And very strong. Um, let's see.
Okay, so let me guess it. I mean, you can obviously put your mark seal stuff in it. <laughs> um, you can fit, you know, be a decent size thing. Not postcards, they won't fit, unfortunately. Um, you could fit your scissors in here. Still hurt. Um, yeah. you can fit your pens. You put your TV remote in here. <laughs> um, that's a thought actually. So I don't want to get my remote back to the touch screen. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Put pencil, pencil in there. Yes, but that's why I have a, a better brush. Um, let's see. Can you put tape? No, I can't put tape in here unless I just want to lie it on the top. Um. Put the post-it notes in here. Like little mini notepads, I guess. These are this is the balance things. Okay. Um you can put your gun in here. And, you know, this one, this one is. Put the sheets in there. Uh, well, anyway. It was about that. It's slightly bigger in terms of size. It's just tiny bigger than this, whatever this dimensions are. And there you have it. It is pretty cool. A nice little header book now on it. That's nice. I don't see there a pine or cedar come to mind. I don't know. I'm not a tree connoisseur. I can't tell what this says. <laughs> it's very discernible. Um, I got Dates, maybe this number. Oops. I don't know. I have no idea. No idea what I don't want to say either. But my guess would be stationary. I mean, or this is this dry? You put your toothbrushes in it. But like you wanted to mess up the wood there. It's probably from like a toothbrush. Um so yes. So that is everything. I don't know if you can really see everything there or not. But uh yes, that's everything. Um what what was your favorite thing? If anybody wants to comment Ever. Um, so I got it for this. And now it's really up there. So I'm just gonna try to be more detailed. And like the cover. Can you see? In the light, it's got some sticky stuff on it for some reason. So that's like another minus point. Um, yeah, that's uh. I really do like the pen. It's super detailed. You know? Super detailed. Very cool. Mm, the postcard kind of prints. Not much of a. Print person that much, you know? Just got stuff on my wall. <laughs> um, actually, I don't need it on my tripod right now, so let me just. Oops. 
I accidentally turned I shut off the uh, recording. Anyway, yeah. I'm just holding it in my hand for a second now. It's very detailed. I can't make out a word. Not a word. I mean, you have to be real, real good with it. So I was saying, it is super detailed, very lovely. And yeah, it even actually has the words Hogwarts Express on it. See? Very cool. Um, the Marauder's Map kind of towel thing, I will use. Well, I won't be selling anything for a change. But I didn't sell anything last time either. This old post shirt. Be a nice night shirt actually when it gets warmer. Currently, I'm just, you know, in my, in my outer one and my, my nice flowery. It's very warm this winter one. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, that's everything. Uh, I think I've said that quite a, quite a lot. So, um, I guess I could put this on my desk. And, um, so currently, um, I mean, I, I could, uh, put some stray Resin bottles in here I have in my other day. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. My desk is a mess. <laughs> um, I do have some pens on my desk, which I don't really use yet because, like, it's more white, black, and gold, and some silver. Or it's just. Mm. Um. Though my guess, stationary, as I said before, I'm repeating myself now. Um, what else would I put in here? I guess I have some things maybe in my, my gray thing over there. Because I got some pill refills in there. Some other stuff. I mean, I could put some... Maybe all the medical supplies I have around in my room in here to sort it, you know, if it fits in here. Like, I mean, that would take that, like if I didn't keep it in the box. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know. I'll think of something. Because I am keeping it. I'm just waffling now, aren't I? Also, the video isn't completely boring. I shall end it here. Don't know how long it is. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. And I'll do notifications over and up. Gave me an opportunity to dust. And it's now on my bedside table. I took off a few things too. Anyway. Yeah. Of so now I can't tape this to here, but hopefully it won't fall here. I'll just tape, tape it down here or something. But yeah. Ta da! I mean, if you're interested, what my tickets are table, so. I mean, it's not much. Just two brushes. Uh, second clock, you know, besides one on the phone and then my laptop. Light. An extension from over, which is like this is a four part house film. So, I don't know. Not that I really answer it because I don't like talking on the phone. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of pointless. I don't really answer, but there we have it. I do need one extension, so, you know, hand lotion, lavender stuff that I got as a 
present from one of the one of our friends or neighbors. I think it was like a birthday present or something. Years ago. I use things very sparingly. <clears throat> so I only use it when my hands feel dry. So then hand sanitizer. I need to get some more. This one, technically it's an extra gum case, but I put the uh I transferred the, uh, the dental uh, things. You know these things. I mean, I don't use them that often. I only have things stuck in my teeth. But technically, I think you're supposed to use it every day. But, like, that's yeah, a while ago. And obviously, this I got ages ago. My name and the meaning. I'm pretty sure I got that. At long wait. Uh, ages ago. I don't think they sell them there anymore. But um, it's like that long. But like the other chapsticks I've used before, that's like you know, irrit irritant and makes it a little sore than not. And obviously, I got that cut from a uh, lucky bag. When I went to uh, an anime and gaming convention for the first time or something, and I see a new toothbrush, which is really weird because this vibrates, it doesn't rotate, the entire thing vibrates. I thought that was me. Well, you didn't really know that until after I bought it, but it was one of the cheaper ones on Amazon for about seven to eight pounds when normally it's. 13 and like hundreds for an extra toothbrush, and I need a new one, so yeah. And uh, candle, which I don't really light things in this room, so it's still in packaging, but it still smells nice. And I don't really have to light it for it to smell nice, I'd have to light it if I want it to, you know, spread across the room, but uh, yeah, so oh, it's it's super dusty. Oh, um, I'm using a the Ninja Air Fryer box is my recycling box but for my room. Remember, if you're curious, got some of my resin things in the bath in my bathroom because <laughs> that's the only place I can reach a window to open. But anyway, this is a very nice size. I have to do it sideways, not frontways, because I don't want to cover. The drawers. So it's a very good size. I need to move the candle so it doesn't fall out, but oh, that's, that's it. Nothing very interesting on my bedside table. Might space out a few things, but I can't reach them over there. But when I walk past, I normally lean on the bedside table because I need to. But anyway, yeah, that's uh. This video is going to be long when I put them all together. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. So, bye bye.